I want to welcome Congressman John Dingle to the program. Good morning to you, sir. Well, Diane, good morning to you, and thank you for what you do. Well, thank you for having now become the longest-serving member of Congress in this country's history. How does that make you feel this morning? Well, it feels good, but remember that, that just serving in the Congress is a great privilege. We're the highest directly elected representatives of the people, and on top of that, uh, it is it is the people's house. But more importantly, it is not how long, my dear friends, you serve, but it is how well. And indeed, that is the case. However, there are an awful lot of people out there right now who do not think that Congress is working very well. What would you say to them? I just say thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your help, because a lot of them have helped me to get here, and a lot of them have helped me stay. It's something that, that you remember, because they're helping me to retain, I think, perhaps the finest and most important job in the power in the hands of the American people. I think Karen Tumulty has a story about you. Yes, Congressman uh, Dingle, this is Karen Tumulty, and I uh, must say one of the most interesting and enjoyable interviews I have ever done in my entire time in Washington, which you may not even remember, was back in 1993. I talked to you about your father and how his service in Congress really shaped your view of what you were here to accomplish. Well, I got to tell you, in all truth, Dad was one of the great influences in my life. And I, I remember the interview, and I appreciate your friendship, uh, uh, and I happen to know the good you do, and I thank you. And Major Garrett. Well, just one, one thing, uh, Congressman. Uh, as you mentioned, it's one thing to serve a long time. You now have a untouchable place in American history, but I would, I would also just point out to the audience who's listening— John Dingell was powerful before he had power conveyed onto him simply by seniority. He was a strong voice for a number of legislative issues. He knew the process incredibly well. As a matter of fact, if I can quote you, Congressman, you would often tell adversaries, you know, you work on the politics, I'll take care of the process, and I'll beat you every time. And frequently you won important battles, and uh, there is a legislative history that you are a part of that I guarantee you historians will look at and admire for generations to come. Well, you're very kind. The process, the fairness of the process is of exquisite importance, and knowing how to make it work is is something. You can't be an effective legislator if you don't understand how this is how this place works and how the rules function. And Susan Page. I'd just like to say congratulations, Congressman, and, and all best wishes uh, ahead. Well, God bless you. Thank you all. You're most gracious and kind, and it feels good. Now we're going to go back to work. All right, sir. Thanks so much for joining us, and congratulations to you. Our love to your beautiful wife, Debbie, as well. She is, Debbie is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I she understand. She is smart that. as a whip. <laughs> she is loyal as a dog. She is beautiful as the spring. She is incredibly able, and she is very wise. Uh, a good combination. Thanks again, and congratulations, oh. John Dingle. He has now become the longest-serving member of Congress in our country's history. Quite an achievement.